in America's mind, Babe's still the king. But in the minds of us to play baseball, Hank is the king. No, he'll always be the king. Hank Aaron, what a hitter he was. One of the top three elite that these two eyes have, have ever seen. I think the best hitter maybe right now is Henry Aaron right now in baseball. He's mostly a risk hitter. He hits mm -hmm. at the last second, and okay. when you think the ball is past him, he will hit the ball mm -hmm. quick. Well, the catcher's glove. Oh, yeah, and I mean, he'll hit it hard. I don't say he was the best home run hitter. I say he was the best hitter. He could size up a situation within like two or three pitches. And the one thing I noticed about Henry is that when he was on the on-deck circle, he was always focused on what the pitcher was doing. And I'm sure he was doing that in the dugout. So by the time he came to the plate, he knew what sequences you were going to use. He's sitting on 7-14. Here's the pitch by Downing. Swinging. There's a drive into left center field. That ball is going to be out of here. It's gone. It's 7-15. There's a new home run champion of all time. And it's Henry Aaron. When you think of Hank Aaron, I think most people think of home runs. But if you get a chance, look at his numbers. Just look at his numbers and compare them to anybody else out there. Think about how many hits he has. 3,700 and some odd hits, right? You take away the 755 home runs he hit, and he's still got 3,000 hits. Lost sometimes in his home run heroics is the fact that Hank Aaron could do it all. The thing that people should know about Henry is how good a player he was, how good an all-around player he was. That's one of the most overlooked aspects of his career. I don't think everybody realizes how well he could play the outfield, how he could steal a base when you needed to have a base stolen, how he could get a base hit when it just required a base hit and a home run wasn't the thing. And I think that, that, that he was a better all-around player than people realize. And the thing about him is he's smart. See, I don't think people understand how smart Hank was. I mean, he knew all the time what was coming. He knew the umpires. He knew the catchers. I studied the game. You know, I could tell you at the end of the season, if I hit 40 home runs, who I hit those 40 home runs off of, what situation it was. Baseball was a 24-hour job to me. And that dedication was something those he played with and against couldn't help but see. One of the things that made Hank such a special player would be some of the attributes that make him such an exemplary human being. Character, not the vociferous type leader, but yet leader by example. And that's how he demanded his respect. 